Hi guys, so welcome to this video. So in this video, we will discuss about detailed Java roadmap. So I have divided the roadmap into different phases, like starting from beginner level to advanced level. We will also discuss what are the hot topics from interview perspective so that you can focus more on that topics. And in the last, we will also discuss like three to four projects that you can build. So you can do self learning and implement all the concepts together and which will help you in showcasing in interviews also. So please watch this video till end. So you will get a lot of values. You will see a lot of new topics that we will discuss in this roadmap. If you are a student or a working professional, so this video is really useful for all of you guys. And I have put all the knowledge which I know, which I have seen in last 10 years of my career. So let's get started. So if you see this diagram, right? So the goal to show this diagram is like Java is not a small programming language. So a lot of things you will find on internet, like learn Java in seven days, learn Java in 15 days, right? Or learn Java in three hours. So that can never happen because Java is so vast programming language. Yes, you can cover important topics like you can cover oops you can cover basic fundamental topics yeah so this that's why i thought of adding this diagram so you can relate to it like java is not a small programming language or java is not something that you can do in two hours three hours five hours it takes months and years of practice to go through each and every features the first step as a java developer you should be aware about the java releases so let me zoom this one so a lot of time in interview or as a java developer people are not able to answer very basic question like what is the history of java what are the different release cycles of java right so if let's say you should so you should be aware about that right so you should be aware so if you see java 8 which is very famous it came or the release date was march 2014 so it's already more than 10 years when the java 8 was released so you should be aware about all the release cycles and what are the future release cycles for example in 2025 java is planning to release two releases so java 24 will come in march 2025 Java 25, which will be long term support, which will come in September 2025. So you should be aware what is LTS and what is non LTS. So LTS means long term support. That's why in most of the enterprise application, they always prefer to use LTS release because it is like all the patching and all the support, they will keep increasing. So if you see here, initial premier support of Java 8 was 2022. And I think now they have already increased to 2030. So that's why if you're using long term support, so Java will keep supporting you and Java will keep providing you security patches and all that other things. That's why Java 21 is getting famous these days. So a lot of projects are getting migrated to either 17 or either 21. So 17 and 21, they are both long term support. And now after 21, now the 25 will come, which is which they are saying it will be LTS, but it can change also because it's not released yet. But Java 25 will be the next major release of Java. Here I have divided the roadmap based on the different phases. So the first phase is basic and beginner level. So this is for the students who are preparing for interviews, who are freshers, who are studying in college or who have one to two years of experience, right? So in the basic and beginners level, the first step is you should know about Java history, right? You should know about what is JDK, what is JRE, right? What is JVM? So how to set up environment, how to use IntelliJ or any other IDE. So you should be aware about that. And then you should be aware about core Java syntax, like variables, data types, operators, simple, like how the core Java work, like hello world program, uh, then you should able to know data types, how many types of data types are there, right? And how data types are stored in memory. So simple memory basics, like stack versus heap, immutable nature of string, and then basic OOPS concept, like we all know the four pillars of OOPS, inheritance, polymorphism, encapsulation, and data abstraction. And then control flow, if else statements are there, loop is there, switch statement is there, and then access modifiers are there. So these five are high level categories for basics and beginners. So whoever is student, whoever is having one year or two year of experience, they should have minimum knowledge of these topics, right? So if I talk about topics, so I already covered these topics, but the hot topics or questions for interview, right? So if you see the most of the times interview will ask you like what is difference between JDK, JRE, JVM and why Java is platform independent, right? And then they might ask you a uh, difference between double equals and equals of encapsulation, stack versus heap, 
garbage collection method overloading method overwriting use cases for switch versus if else enhanced switch yield keyword immutable nature of java strings and is java statically and strongly typed language or not so these are like eight to ten very hot topics for interviewers so just try to go one or two level deeper whatever topics you are studying right so this is the basic level so next level is intermediate level so this intermediate level can also be done by uh, students also so it can be done by anyways anyone right so these phases are not dependent on your experience level this phase is just to categorize yourself like how much knowledge you have you have a basic knowledge of java or you have intermediate knowledge of java right? any number of years of experience you have you can do these topics so in the intermediate level so i have added like advanced oops like you should be aware about abstract classes you should be aware about interfaces you should be aware about how and where to use it right what's the difference between them and then we have a lot of keywords like static keywords a uh, blank final is there so all that things will come under advanced umbrella of oops right and then we have collection framework so as we all know like we have to store the data right so collections framework plus collection utility methods will give us like they will give us like how to store the data either we want to store in list either we want sets either we want maps and we will have all the different functions like if you want to you know do sorting you want to do shuffling you want to copy from one list to another so that all comes under collections umbrella framework so once you are aware about collections framework you should be aware about exception handling so how to do exception handling in java properly so what are the difference between a checked exception unchecked ex exception how try catch finally works if you want to create your own custom exception how you will do that what is the role of throw keywords what is the role of throws keyword right so try to go deeper in exception handling because exception handling is one thing that you will use in your entire career no matter what framework you are using the principles remain same so in future if you will use spring boot and then we, if you will use reactive programming right exception handling is used everywhere irrespective of framework or language so then you should be aware about file handling because most of the projects deal with reading the file deal with writing the file deal with uh, all that file operations right so you should be aware about uh, java io api neo basics right buffer reader buffer writer so you should be aware about how to handle large files efficiently right and then you should be aware about multi threading and concurrency which is a, a really a, a hot topic for interview so they might ask you what is the java memory model how java handles multi threading what is daemon thread what is thread life cycle what is race condition what is volatile keyword what is atomic keyword i think we have already covered most of the topics only left is how hash map works internally very important topic fail fast versus fail safe iterator again very important topic concurrent hash map very important now let's proceed to the advanced level so in advanced level we have a different apis that are being used depending on the use case but you should have a knowledge of that first one is reflection api so you should be aware about what are the use cases of a reflection how to use reflection right and then we have a internationalization api of java so with the help of internationalization you can handle multiple languages in your website multiple time zone right so all that things comes under internationalization and multiple languages also like you would have seen uh, if you want to convert your language from english to hindi right then all the keywords are being changed to the hindi language so then the most important topic from the interview perspective is generics and optional class so you should have a deeper knowledge of generics if you really want to grow yourself as a software engineer uh, because if you will work with spring boot you will work with spring webflux generics are used everywhere in all the frameworks so you should be aware about how what are wild cards what is type eraser what are bounded generics and optional is very good feature of java so this is also being asked uh in interviews a lot of times and then the third topic which i will say you have to go most deep in this topic java streams because java streams is a part of functional programming try to go deeper in java streams try to learn about intermediate terminal operations try to learn about a uh, grouping try to learn about aggregation mapping filtering 
right map versus flat map how you will do partitioning of data in java string right so all that things you should be aware so this should be your highest priority if you want to move to the advanced level of knowledge in java i have also put this under advanced level networking and cryptography so networking api will help you to create sockets http client apis web socket communication right and cryptography will help you to do hashing to do encryption symmetric encryption is there asymmetric encryption is there right and then how to implement ssl tls so all that like all that things right so how to create a key store how to store the certificates how to create a public key how to create a private key so all that things are really being used uh, when it comes to security networking and the last one is regular expressions and date time api so regular expression also you should be aware about how in java you can handle regular expressions what is pattern matching what is input validation how you can parse complex strings so i know regular expression i can put in basic category also because a lot of students already have a basic knowledge of regular expression but i did put regular expression in advanced level because you should really go deeper in regular expressions so it's not like you are aware of only very basic knowledge of regular expression you should go deeper how the java is doing pattern matching how the validations are happening right how to create your own expression so that will really help you going forward in the spring boot and other frameworks also and date time api definitely very important topic in production application because you have to handle different time zone you have to do the zoned date time conversion from one date time to another date time right so lot of things happens by using date time api so these were all the hot topics for interview that i have already covered also so you should be aware about all these things and if you are already preparing for our 5 plus years of java interview right then focus on these topics so they might ask you in interviews and then the next topic is like you should be aware about all the key features from java 9 to java 23 so for example they keep doing stream enhancement they introduce where keyword in java 10 i think then sealed classes and records they said this is very important because you can use them together also then pattern matching for switch virtual threads virtual threads is really hot topic for interviews if you are really experienced 5 plus then please prepare for virtual threads and then we have structured concurrency sequence collection this is also very important so for this one i have already created one blog so that blog gets updated when and whenever new java version comes you can just go to hungrycoders.com/blog so here you will see lot of blogs here i have so i have around 50 blogs which all blogs are really useful but here one of the blog is java 9 to 23 essential features so here i have already put all the features starting from java 9 and i have already highlighted what are the top features and high level summary so if you see this blog is a running blog please go through this blog whenever you are preparing for interview and also one more blog i will refer you the java streams right so i was talking about java streams is really important so you can even search here like stream so it will give you all the blogs so understanding java stream so this is really important so i have covered most of the scenarios here but you should really able to understand like how to do it how to use streams how to uh, use all the terminal and intermediate functions and what are the different use cases for that thing i want to cover is the building of projects even if you know all these things it's better you keep doing practice with the help of some project so the first project i will definitely recommend you so out of these four if you have to do only one just go with the first one 1 billion row challenge okay so just go with this one right so you will get one link and if you see here so this was the competition which is already over now but this is very good for self learning so you can also go through their code so if i go and click on link right it will give you this code right so here you will really able to understand like how to use collection framework like they are using map tree map here and then they are also using unsafe class which is not recommended to use in production but this 1 billion row challenge you want to do it faster right so they are doing un using unsafe class and then they are also reading the file right so they are reading the file they are doing uh, also using math library and then if you see they are also using 
the multi threading and all that things here the next one is you should be doing running 100 million or 1000 million virtual threads and then you compare the performance of virtual threads versus normal thread so i have already created video on this so you can refer to the video in my uh, multi threading playlist and then to understand web sockets so you can build a very simple real time chat application using web sockets and then the fourth one is to understand the uh, or do the analytics on e commerce data right so you can download that sales data uh, from google so you will get a lot of dummy data and then try to apply uh, the java streams api on that to so for aggregation for grouping for partition so that can be my fourth and last recommendation to you to understand java streams in depth if you want to prepare for interviews very quickly right so i will refer you to my product study kit so i have created this study kit for uh, busy programmers who wants to crack interviews but they don't have enough time to prepare so what i have done in this is so if you see so i have categorized based on core java and if i click on core java you will be able to see like all the important questions so whatever i mentioned in hot topics most of them are already here plus it's extra and it also contains spring boot and behavioral questions also so this is how it will look so we have question answer plus videos uh, then we have some of the infographics we have videos and all that things uh, so i will recommend you this also if you are preparing for interview so this product is will really add value to your interview prep so if you found this video helpful don't forget to like subscribe and hit that bell icon for more programming content